Welcome back to NASCAR Wait, ladies and gentlemen. Right now I'm about to be race 19 and 36 for the running DOC Sheet Rock 400. With a pretty good song playing in the background. Last week Daytona sucked, but it was better than the 500 where it finished last. Um, we finished 25th there. We go to Chicago Land, where um, if you've seen every Xbox Let's Play I've, NASCAR Let's Play I've done, has some sort of horrific accident happened in the race, like you know, a car getting airborne or a guy getting fucking clobbered at 100 miles an hour. Um, yeah. Coming to this race, 11 for the points, so basically if I want to make a run at the championship, I need to start putting together good races. Really? Why do we have to run a car spawn for every freaking race? Every race, I swear to God, this game loves telling us that, hey, the car tomorrow is a thing. Like, really? I remember, I distinctly remember watching the real Chicago Land Race in 2007. They had the old body cars there. Why the new ones? Anyways, virtual telemetry. Jesus. Yeah, the car pushed out there. Yeah, car really wanted to push out, so I'm just gonna let that thing fly. John Wood is currently the quickest car on the racetrack right now. FYI. Basically, just running the middle of the lane right now. Hopefully, we don't smack the wall like we did, did in the trial. Going down the apron. 15 seconds ahead of the leader. 15 seconds quickest seconds separates me from the uh, second place driver in practice right now. As we make our way down in the turn three, way too blood fast. We're going to end the practice session and jump straight to qualifying because I have a feeling it's going to be one of those kinds of races. Off we go in Chicago Lane. Jesus, stay on the car. Can this car fucking stay on me? Yeah, that'd be great. Off we go. Hope you guys enjoy your uh, Friday afternoon. It is currently, at the time this episode's going to go live, um, it's going to be noon on Mountain Time, so basically 2 p.m. for you guys on the East Coast. So, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the NASCAR Let's right Play. If you guys want to like seeing me fail and to cuss this game out under my breath. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get some good races so we don't have to worry about, you know, falling out of the chase or being, you know, we don't have to worry about falling out of the chase. Because let's face it, we don't need that. Every NASCAR video game let's play I've done that involves a chase, I've made it. With the exception of the 5, because my copy broke. My PS2 copy broke, so... Um, yeah. Down the back stretch we go. Gonna let the car run through the middle lane. With the bulky ass wing, by the way, come off turn number four. And I do believe we have a pole. Hope you guys catch the uh, caught the Pepsi 400 earlier this morning on my channel. Jimmy Johnson won that race. Anyways, let's jump right into some racing. 
Case car is off. Me and Mark Martin are going to leave the field down as we're green in Chicagoland. Off turn number four, we're already getting a little over second lead over the second place car. Is Matt Kenzich will lead the first lap here at Chicago Land. The 2007 was the final year that Chicago Land saw the old style car in the Cup Series because till about 2010, the Nationwide Series had the old style, older uh, car that ran it just for the Chicago Land race. I remember because I've watched all the races. Um, we come off to number four, and we're going to lead yet another lap. It's going to be one of those I whip, whip everybody's mm -hmm. in a beautiful fashion. One of the really weird beats that I have with this game is the car when you're turning is really, really freaking sensitive. If you want to like keep the car in the middle, like a certain grooves, like I prefer running the bottom in the corners, close to the wall in the straightaways, except for intermediate tracks with the apron on the front stretch. The car, especially this car right here, it always wants to push out to the top. It seems like the top of the racetrack. Diving down in the turn three, basically. We fly into the strip, into the strip, turn three at about 185 miles an hour, and then we come off turn number four. I mean, one thing I do like about the car tomorrow is the cars are a lot. Fat. Did like about the rules package with the car tomorrow in 07 is the speeds you can get. Man, they you guys can fly. They can fly with these cars in these corners. You can see I can fly 190 down in turn 3 and about 183 and going down in turn 1. Come off turn number 4. The midway lap goes to Matt Kenzo. Coming down the back stretch. Man, this is uh, the definition of mercy killer. No book. The second place, who's second right now? As, uh... <laughs> coincidence. Is the top two right now a coincidence? Matt Kenzie in the 17, Jeff Gordon in the 24? No. The reason I say that is, in 2006, Gordon and Matt kind of, Jeff Gordon and Matt Kenzie. Basically, at the time this game was released, my favorite and my least favorite driver um, got in a little bit of a fight because Matt Kenseth was driving like a bat out of like a bat out of hell at Bristol, running into Gordon and being Jeff Gordon and he being tough enough his image, he went over and told Matt how he felt. And then at Chicago Land, Matt Kenseth was some um, goose to this well, I'm gonna block the ever loving crap out of everything self. And Jeff Gordon's not gonna tolerate that, so in the turn one, Jeff Gordon gets into the back of him and spins him out. Which to this day I still applaud him for that. And then off turn number four. Five laps to go in the USD Sheet Rock 400 here at Chicagoland. We've, um, we have a quick lap. We've been playing quick laps all race long. Very cool to see a race like this after, you know, the Bullcrap 400 at Daytona where we finished 25th and you can't keep the draft to save your life. There we are, we're coming off turn four now, and you see the 43rd place car, which I look 
can't really tell over down turn one, but I kind of see the first place car, or the last place car, I'm sorry. And I, uh, if, not sure if that's Walter in the 55 or Jeff Green in the 66. I don't know. Look that. We basically drifted that car up towards the wall. See, as we're coming off to the roof, two getting closer, the uh, guy in last to change from who I thought was Michael Walter to Reed Sorensen. Coming to the line, there will be three laps to go. As I keep getting further, in, oh yeah, last time it five was eleven seconds. Um, this time it was nine seconds. I did kind of screw up a little bit coming off four. There's the forty-one of Reed Sorensen. These kinds of races. I love these kinds of races. Where you just dominate and just lap these guys. Get by the Bob Walter. Two laps to go in the here at Chicagoland. We'd, er, we'd basically checked out. And if this really happened with Kendrick dominated, consider this sweet, you know, basically. A healing process to him being dumped by Gordon, or spun by Gordon in 2006. There you go, trying to lap the 6 of Reagan. 44 of Jarek. And the white flag is in the air here at Chicago. Second place driver Jeff Gordon is just now coming off turn 4. Did he get by the 15 of Menard? 22 Dave Blaney, 42 Juan Paulo Montoya, and the 26 of Jamie McMurray. Off turn number four, Matt Kendrick comes to the checkered flag and wins the USD Sheetrock 400 in an amazingly dominant fashion. Ah, oh, it feels good to win. Ah, yes. Winning ways feels so good. What? How did Casey Mears... How did... My god. This game just makes shit up as it goes. Sometimes. Just through the top 10 together with me winning. So, yeah. Game. I love when you throw crap together. So the next race, before we do that, check the standings. Wow! Oh! I told you. The more wins we get, it's going to really help us coming towards the chase. Building that cushion up between 7th and 12th, which right now is the last the last cut man who's currently in the bubble is the 8 of Dale Arnott Jr. 
Oh man, this feels so good. Yes. After how much of a crappy day I've had so far, this feels so good. <laughs> Anyways, have we returned 18 points back from the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. The next time is the next race is gonna be the Allstate 400 at the Brickyard, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We will see you then. If you guys like today's video, why not drop, drop a like, throw some comments, click that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, add me on Spotify. Be sure to check out SpongeBob SquarePants Bouch Bikini Bottom, which just recently dropped on Monday. And see you then.